the story of our young heroes begins. Hosted by Sarah and Maxie and Emma, the sea turtle. mission. is too high, 300 times heavier than it would be on the surface. I wonder if anything can live down here. Wouldn't everything be squashed by all the heavy water? True. Only very unusual creatures can live down at 3,000 metres. A bonsai tree! Look at that! There's something living on it. Max, deploy camera with zoom lens. It's a little star. Is he trapped? I'll free you, fishy. Max, your tree is called a hydroid. And the starfish is a kind of brittle star. It looks too delicate to live all the way down here. Ugh, what's that? That's a sea spider. Oh, I hate spiders! He can't hurt us in here. Look, there's a tiny shrimp clinging to his leg. Yeah, get him, shrimp. Put him in a leg lock. Max. What, he's got seven others. Okay, Max, turn that way. See, an underwater volcano. Awesome! Actually, they're called hydrothermal vents. They're very hot, like volcanoes. But that's not lava coming out. It's superheated seawater. Like a kettle boiling. Sort of. The water is heated by red hot lava under the seabed. Wow, I'd better not touch them. I could burn my fingers. No. Like many creatures, they've learned to live near hydrothermal vents. That's a scale worm. And he, or should I say she, is part of the special web of life living around hydrothermal vents. Oh, Max, would you stop? 
stop. That is an acorn worm. He eats the sand, and his body takes out any food and then gets rid of the rest. See, I wasn't being rude. A giant slug. Ooh, he's so slow. That's a nudie prank, Max. Don't let him hear you calling him a slug. He might come over here. That's okay. I'll be grown up by then. Is that a tree? How does it even grow down here? That's coral as well. Oh my gosh, there's something in it. Well, she probably likes climbing, like you. Look at that lazy starfish. Why don't you do something? Sometimes it's okay to just sit around, Maxie. It's so colourful. Look at the way all its arms wrap around the coral. As you know, all life needs energy. For you and Max and all the plants and animals on the surface, that energy comes from the sun. Thanks, Pat. But there's no sun down here. Yeah, it's dark all the time. So all the life down here has to get its energy from somewhere else. Where? What have we seen that's full of energy and very, very hot? Behind a turtle vent! Hydrothermal vent! Exactly. All life deep down at 3,000 metres is here because of the hydrothermal vents. The heat and the minerals in the hot water allow small animals to grow and bigger animals to feed on the small animals until we have an entire animal world living around the hydrothermal vents. A sea urchin. Look at his long, skinny, spiky things. Don't touch it. I won't. Okay, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh, it looks like a flying hand. I wish I had one of those. Ah. It's got a long name for a little creature. Pelagic Olifurian. I prefer flying hands. It's actually a kind of sea cucumber. Is that a punkfish? That's my favourite! No, Max. Your favourite is monkfish. That's a tentacled holothurian. He's got a funny big spike! Hey! They look crabby! Looks like they're eating something. They're fighting for the food. Go, crabby! Lift him up! Crabs behave. There's plenty of food for everyone. Is that a super lost bird? It looks a bit like a bird, doesn't it, Max? It's actually a fish called a sea robin. Fishermen sometimes call them gurnards. There's a fish with three legs. Fish don't have legs. I want to take a closer look. Almost right again. That fish has a name that actually means fish with three feet. 
It's called a tripod fish. <laughs> That's funny. But of course, they're not feet or legs, just long fins. They're lovely and wavy. Ah! A monster! It's okay, Max. She won't hurt us. She's a ghost shark and she. Ghost! They're even scarier! Sarah, there's a monster ghost fish down here. Oh, I want to go home. Don't worry. Ghost sharks don't eat people. She's a very, very ancient fish from before the time of the dinosaurs. It is beautiful down here. Look at that thing. It's like a lovely vase. And there's another strange fish. Is that a ghost shark too? Stand by, Sarah. Just searching my files. Uh, that's strange. I don't understand. I'll try again. Is he just using the internet? This can't be true. Stand by. What's up, Seapad? I can't find any record of this fish. It must mean... Well, my little adventurers, get ready to be amazed. We have discovered a new species. Emergency! Emergency! Oxygen level critical. Seapad, engage emergency oxygen supply. Sarah, engage turbo booster one. Are we okay? Have we got enough oxygen? I think so. Max, my calculations indicate we will have to move quickly. Sarah, engage turbo booster two. Come on, Emma, faster. I can't see anything. Sea surface approaching. One last push. Phew, we've done it. Well done, Emma. You saved the day. I vote our next underwater mission be somewhere safe. And no more getting into hot water. Oh, Maxie. <laughs>